Some people have been telling me that they have lust issues. Okay. The larger issues are not your problem per se. Listen now. The larger issues are not your problem per se. What is your problem are the smaller issues that you continue to do that is building the larger issues that you are doing. So the larger issues that you have are not the problem per se, but it is the smaller issues that you continue to do that are building up the larger issues. When you go to the store or go somewhere, when you see a woman or a man that is showing much of their body, how long do you look at them? How long do you stare at them? If you are the type that stares very hard, <laughs> like, whoa, if you are that way, looking at women or men showing their body off, if you are staring very hard, why are you surprised that you have lust issues? Now, of course, a person may pass you and you may glance at them for perhaps a second. That is one thing. It is another thing if you look at someone that is not properly dressed and you stare. That is something else. Last year, I believe. I believe it was the summer. This woman was wearing shorts so short that they looked like panties. I am telling you. And I was looking, I am like, I know she is not wearing panties outside. Like only panties on. Maybe a month ago or two weeks ago, I saw this other woman. I believe she was outside wearing men boxers only men boxers on and I am thinking what is going on here if you see a woman or a man that is dressed improperly and if they are your type or whatever else turn your head look down I know for myself when I see women dressed improperly, I look down or I go somewhere else where they are not in my line of sight. This is what you have to do. What type of TV shows and movies are you watching? Are you watching TV shows with all of this kissing and holding each other and touching and all of this sexual tension? If you are, no wonder you have lust issues. It is no surprise. What type of music are you listening to? Are you listening to this hip hop rap mess trash are you listening to music 
about kissing, touching, holding each other, and all this stuff here. No wonder you have lust issues. What type of friends and people are you hanging around with? Are they sexual? Sexual? Are they speaking about sex? Why would you hang out if you are trying to serve God? Why would you hang out with prostitutes? Why would you hang out with men or women who have sex before marriage, cheat on their spouse? Why would you do that? Don't you know the people you hang with are going to influence you? So why are you surprised that you are becoming more like them? When I hear a person say that they serve God and they are so good, and they tell me how bad their friends are, what that tells me, no, you are the same way <laughs> that your friends are. How can you say that your friends are, are whores, prostitutes, and you say that you hang with them and you are this Christian girl? No, if you are saying that your friends are whores, chances are you are one too. The people you hang with, you are going to be that way too. When I was in sin, I would pretty much only hang with people that was into the things I was into. So if you did not like going to the club and mess with women, chances are I did not hang with you. It is not to say that you were a bad person, but I would only hang out with people who were like me. And other people are the same. So if you say that you serve God and your friends are prostitutes, womanizers, whatever else, I know that you are the same way as well. Make sense? These small things lead to bigger things. So if you cut off the smaller things, guess what? The bigger things will not come forth. How can it? If you are cutting off the source, how can you do the larger things? You won't be able to. So if you watch out for what you are looking at and listening to and being around, hey, your lust problem is pretty much over. Listen, if I was dumb enough, foolish enough to watch TV shows with kissing and hugging and touching, showing women's breasts and stuff like that, If I started to listen to this rap music and all this lustful stuff, movies, TV shows, friends, and stuff like that, of course, that lust would get inside of me as well. Whatever you put into yourself, you are going to display what you have been placing within you. 
if I eat apples <laughs> every every day, let's say I eat apples every single day. Why in the world would I be surprised that oranges are not coming out of me? If I eat apples every day, how can I expect oranges to come out of me when I only eat apples? <sighs> how can you expect How can you expect not to have lust within you when you are always feeding yourself lustful things? How can you feed yourself lustful things and expect, expect characteristics of God within you? You are feeding yourself lust. So what you are displaying is what you have been feeding yourself. So why is that a surprise? If you feed yourself lust, lust is going to be displayed. If you want qualities of God, what must you do? Feed yourself things of God. So. If you don't feed yourself with God, of God, or things of God, why do you believe that you are going to display godly qualities? Think about that. You are lustful because you feed yourself fat. So cut off the source. The reason why I am not in lust, because I cut off the source. If I am foolish enough to turn on the source of lust, of course, lust is going to control me. <laughs> no surprise. Think about that. It is not really that hard. If you want to stop lust, cut off the small things because it is the small things that build up that you are struggling with, that builds up to the larger things. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.